前から思ってたんだがよあのバカなんであんなに口軽いんだ<笑> So l o s e sleep So now is Wilhelm talking alright The man's voice rang with clear exasperation as he looked up into the air, heaving a sigh of pained understanding. Yeah, he's scolding Rusalka. But come on, Rusalka's being a kind person, being, at least she's being kind to, to Ren, you know? Oh. Okay, so Wilhelm, uh, Wilhelm is in the school, but more like he, he's at the, well, at the, the field. Are we meeting a new guy? Probably. Oh no, he's talking to Leon. Girl too sounded irritated and sullen, as if indicating she hated breaking her silence. She leaned against a leafless tree located in an abandoned corner of the school grounds, shooting sarcasm right back at the man standing behind it. Oh, we look at that. And Wilhelm seems to be wearing some a different outfit now. Does it look like school uniform? So yeah. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, this is the guest that uh, he is talk uh, is meeting. Surprised that you come out into the that Wilhelm comes out into the sun. Clear skies as well as a warm breeze, so unlike winter. Kay couldn't help but produce a bitter smile. Knowing it was precisely the kind of weather the man despised, and yet he just has to come up because he said he heard her talking, you know, behind his back. Although of course he said he can, he could hear it loud and clear, right? But Albino, Albino is like white hair, right? <laughs> okay. この陽気の中わざわざ出向いてきたのはどういう理由まさか先日までも粘着だなあんなもんおしゃれだろおしゃれシャレ I'm sure he is still interested. So you ain't interested in male tail? What about female tail? Okay, so Malus is the Arusaka's other name. Snorting, Wilhelm glanced over at the school rooftop. He could perfectly perceive and understand the conversation taking place over 100 meters from him. He was neither using a listening device, nor did he rely on lip reading. In fact, he didn't even have a clear view, so how? Well, his ears are sharp, that's what. Okay, so we're gonna have a new guy coming soon, Spine. Hmm. 
クリストフも何やら探ってたみたいだ結果は白。五代前まで遡っても猿以外の血は混じってない残念ながら外れだな Monkey blood Even check back to the five Chinese dynasties Okay ふっ仲間が増えるとでも期待してたか Well bet she wants to <laughs> 別に Following a moment of what could be taken as either dejection or relief Kay shook her head Then reverted to her usual mass of sarcasm. So, they were him. Nashkuna cooking more than a Karen or Kyomi and I can't get the cook. Katekin Kyomi and Akuna took the Hanashina. Anogakia, Zone and Kinto no Eda Janai, Smari, Melkrius in Kanke, Sir Kakritsua. Well, very low chance doesn't mean he isn't. Although he tried to play down with a disparaging sneer, something akin to a, vic a vicious shadow seemed to cloud over Wilhelm's expression. A kind of dread and repulsion, a vivid sense of fear completely unlike him. Kay lightly raised her eyebrows. So many can I tell that? ああやばいねあいつはちょっとおかしすぎた面と向かって口聞けたのは狩猟とマキナの二人くらいさ Are you talking about Zaratush... Zaratushra? Uh... Okay, I think so I'm curious for that matter お前はやっぱり知らないだろうがザミエルやシュライバーでも一線引いてたくらいなんだぜ波の行かれ野郎じゃなかったのよおしまいのような気もする我らが副狩猟閣下殿は日本人がお嫌いだったということなのかあ、キュリアスいいや、強いて言うならみんなだみんなあいつは全世界をなめくさってたまあ<笑>、そこらは狩猟も同類だったしだからこそ馬があったんだろうがよ Okay. 唯一の救いは自国民にはそこそこ寛容だったってことくらいだ横のつながりで猿にも甘い方だったがあのホロコーストやろうがレーベンスボルンの落とし子以外に手をつけるとも思うね Sorry if I'm not really commenting much because I really have nothing to say right here except maybe a few things here and there like uh, like what soft or monkeys like literally monkeys Or, or is it is he talking about the likes of uh Ren? Smarty Melkrius ga erabu nara ore tachi to nanraka no kakawari ga aru yatsu da. Sore igai wa aitsu ni tochi ya minna kuso da yo. Kachi mo. Okay. Interesting. Nani damatte yagaru. Monku ga aru da. Though she shook her head curtly, Kay did have certain doubts. Even if Mercurius matched Wilhelm's description of him, wouldn't that have only made him more likely to be less picky? Though he claimed Mercurius was tolerant of his companions, Wilhelm was clearly avoiding him. Could they really have been so certain that someone like that considered them all special? Probably not. If he looked down on everyone, then it made no difference who he picked. Either Wilhelm and the rest of the old guard couldn't consider that, or they didn't wish to. At any rate, she would simply have to wait and see for now. Kay exhaled a brief sigh. ひどく曖昧だから探偵はできないおそらくあのガキかいや、キッゴブゴブいや、六部四部は彼はそういうタイプだと思うから 60-40, yeah? 
まあ実際際際際に好かれそうな感じではなそれにお前気づいたか No、oh, this way. We have g u e s t e d to the rooftop with us. Oh. <laughs> That mysterious wind. <laughs> the rest of his sentence melted into the rust of the wind, reaching only Kay's ears. Whatever he might have said, it made the girl's expression harden. I guess that word is probably Zaratustra or something like that. Yeah, the, the word that w e h a v e whispered to her. Could, could be? I mean, fellow Japanese and all. Ah, yeah, don't be so. Don't be so stubborn, okay? Eventually, when we get to your route. <laughs> Her tone implied that she had already forgotten. One could say she was being more indifferent than necessary. Wow, 70 to 30? Well, I won't say so. I mean, by right, in traditional terms, Obsidian Round Table only has 12 slots, right? But like, I, I know I remember reading something about a 13th member. The unlucky 13th members? So. A conclusion with no room for argument. It didn't seem like Wilhelm was trying to distort her theory. That said, she couldn't agree with his stance of denying everything on the sole account that Ren Fuji was a pure blooded Japanese. She was fed up with his difficult to understand elitism and racism. But that was how he had always been. It's just Wilhelm. She didn't have to take him up on every little thing. その辺りは別の誰かもう少し話の分かる相手に相談する正体不明の生物と揃い使えてもこの時期放置しておくのもまずいからとにかく今はそれも含めて慎重に行くべきだマスター不在でゲームを始めても仕方ないしせいぜい
四半世紀も生きてない陳家な猿の人生観であの人を図るのだね。そ、okay. so、こ calling all those people、ウェルハムは実際に calling all those people below him monkeys。はい。Trust to the puzzled king. Wilhelm's suppressed laugh continued without end, soon warped by madness. Mephistopheles. Shuriono Shogo was still. Not a host. So Hedwich is basically the Lord Commander's、uh, real name. Then his official name, the Obsidian Round Table's name, is Mephistoset,、uh, Mephistopheles. Calling like Force. Oh, so this whole city is called Force. Oh, yeah, I think I remember what that place is called Shamsharia or something. Then, what's some Shamsharia? Is it a park or something? Force is this whole city? Okay, but what I still don't get is how is Berlin connected to this Sakurai city? <laughs> That's the thing. How is it connected? The only thing I probably know the, the connection is because World War II Germany and Japan were involved. So <laughs> that's that, but how so? I don't know. Ah, create hell. You want to wreck? Havoc. He gave the trunk she had been leaning against a light punch. Perhaps it was an optical illusion. But right before she did, the bug looked like it was wriggling like entrails. ここは私とマレウスの領域だ。犯すなら、それなりの覚悟をしてもらうぞ。So different、uh, members of the Obsidian Round Table are in charge of different areas. Okay. ズンケンすんなよ。俺はお前がここをスワスチカの一つにできるとは思えないんだね。Oh yeah, then I also remember this swastika thingy. There's like eight of them in total. So far, we haven't created a single one, obviously. So,、uh, not sure what the swastika is about. Although I know if you talk about swastika in real life, it's something to do with the Nazis. Yes, that's all I know. Something to do with the flag. After giving Chase uniform and a praising look, Wilhelm went on. Probably, I mean, since we see that K, I think from the looks of it, Case is a spirit, right? She's not human. Yeah, so she probably, she had probably died young, and that's why she wanted to experience this youth herself too, you know? Yeah. The hell, <laughs> monkey's blood. <laughs> Taking a step forward, Kay turned to look back at Wilhelm. Okay. Okay. 
<笑>時を止まれ何時は覚悟尽くしそう言わせてほしいんだろういくらでも言わせてやるさあまり甘く見るこの私を面白い二言はねえなトヨチホレッタ誓ってほしいか自称アーリア人アイアン Okay. Aya is from which country? I forgot. I know Oriental is yeah, Japan, you know, but Aya? We maybe need to look it up. <laughs> we have made no answer. Instead, letting out a laugh filled with malice. Though it shouldn't have been particularly loud, orbits in the vicinity scrambled off into the distance. Away from the trees. So, guys, 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 so, Sensitive to sunlight. As his presence gradually vanished, Kay muttered a brief face to herself. Have <laughs> <laughs> aggravating man. After all, it had been known since ancient times that men with overly loose tongues were good for nothing. Hmm. Contrary to my mood, the classes today ended without incident. Classmates around me were getting up from their desks, ready to head home while chatting about things of little consequence. Doesn't look like they'll be suspending school after all. Think club activities will start back up soon? Not until they catch the killer. But you think they'll stay in the city? Don't know, but why would they suddenly stop killing? Heck if I know, but they might not be able to hold themselves back for much longer if that's what you're doing. Like, maybe they're about to blow. Whoa, that's scary. Let's hurry on home. Yeah, those pep talk, those talk, I mean. They were right on that count. Not the whole killing part, but rather that I was reaching the mental limit. <laughs> yeah, it had only been about a week since the killing stopped, but the murderer was taking two victims per day up until then. So those girls' prediction probably wasn't off. Everyone must have been thinking the same thing. The killer is gone. Or maybe they return and kill more people per day than before. Unfortunately, I knew very well that the former was unlikely. The killer was in the city. He was holding his breath, restraining his impulses, disguising himself as an ordinary citizen, holding himself back even at this very moment as he. <laughs> I muttered a brief phrase of self deprecation. I have been having all these worthless thoughts ingrained in me thanks to my talk with Rosalka earlier. <laughs> you should you should know better, Rosalka. Once you eliminated the impossible, whatever remained, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Rosalka's words. It was too sound of an argument for me to refute it. However, it would have been too much of a problem to simply admit it was correct. First of all, I simply didn't want to readily agree to what she told me. <laughs> I mean, she's cute. There's no doubt about that. But to Ren is like annoyingly cute. Sigh. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> From an outsider's perspective, it might have looked like I was bullying her, but I had never been one to care about appearances to begin with. Come to think of it, where do you live, Rusaka? I would have, I wouldn't be able to read really come otherwise. I sent her a glare that conveyed that very sentiment. 
but Rusaka responded with a laugh like it didn't concern her. I couldn't believe this girl. Oh, that's Kay. Overly persistent woman. <laughs> Just then, rescue arrived from an unexpected source as Sakurai took control of the grumbling Rusaka. Yeah, now it's Kay's turn. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think this one is a bit of a translation error. Actually, what Rusalka said was, But we haven't talked enough! Because <laughs> Tari Nai means not enough, so not quite a correct translation there, but anyway. じゃあ何猫は大人っぽい子が好きなわけそう。じゃあ私たちは失礼するけど。藤井君も。ん<笑> She then gave me one hell of a glare. I began instinctively backing up, but... Ayase-san. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kasumi looked at me with a starter expression. She would always come over to me even if no one caught her. So what was she doing now? She hadn't even gotten ready to go home yet. Is Kasumi feeling like nervous or something? Like there's a new rival or something? <laughs> Though she said all that, Rusaka proceeded to leave the classroom at Sakurai's urging. Once I confirmed that they were gone, I breathed a mental sigh of relief. I didn't know what Sakurai was thinking, but I have been saved for now. That's it. How was I supposed to deal with her? It's okay, it's probably because of those two girls. Like, their aura is too strong. <laughs> I wasn't like some old man who would collapse in a heap from not getting enough sleep for mere seven days. I responded to Kasumi in the most cheerful tone I could master. それよりお前、今日も剣のお稽古なんだろ。付き合うから早くしたくしろよ。あ、うん。だけど、あんたは先に帰った方がいいんじゃない？寝ないとダメだよ。Oh, so even Kasumi knows that he's not getting sleep. It would be worse if I fell asleep. I obviously couldn't say that though. I was grateful that she worried about she was worried about me, but and the fault lay with me for not for letting my exhaustion show. But I had to get my way here. If I couldn't rest anyway, it was better to be with Kasumi than to go home to an empty apartment. Admittedly, I did feel pathetic about it, but what could you do? I felt much more at ease with her around. ボディーガード <laughs> Oh, 
う言うと思ったから困ってるんじゃない私も今日はサボりたくないし I was going to drop a line about how truly diligent she was but I stopped myself there was no need to mock her じゃあなるべく早いとこ済ませてくれよ偉そうに言わないでよねこの不健康児が<笑>不幸不健康児ミスターネハウティ And with that exchange of the way, we finally left the classroom. Ah, to the candle club, candle room. Yes, Ren, are you okay? Don't fall asleep now. I watched over Kasumi's practice session as I had always had. But today she was putting in more spirit than usual, exuding a somewhat Blood curdling aura. Blood curdling aura, huh? Kind of with the red background. But then, then again, that's the evening setting. I usually just sat down and nodded off as I watched her. All thoughts of sleep left me in the face of that drive. Before I knew it, I was watching her practice in a state of awe. Oh. <laughs> I had to revise my opinion. She truly was serious about this. I found it impressive enough that she treated herself every day without a break. But that was also so that earnestness of hers. I honestly could have never done that. I wasn't particularly freaked of things, but for the longest time now, I would have this habit of never putting any real effort into anything I did. And now it was too late for me to find something I could genuinely be serious about. When you did everything in such a wishy washy, half assed way, even the flow of time will under take a break and slow down. Also, I thought that prolonged gay to day life was initially shattered by Shiro, and now by those freaks, and, then she, and she was still nowhere in sight. <laughs> But here appears sooner or later. This was pointless. Thinking about all that now wouldn't change a thing. I slammed my head into the wall as I sat cross legged in a corner of the dojo, making sure I was quiet enough not to disrupt practice. I seriously had to get over this terrible habit of trying to instantly remember the most useless of things. Otherwise, I would fall into a cycle of self loathing and turn into a pessimistic mess. If I could just neatly and nicely chuck out my pain and worries out the window, that would be nice and all, but I knew full well that I couldn't do that. Which was why I kept worrying and suffering. I wondered if Kasumi had to deal with things like that too. Probably. I think every human would. Experience that sort of thing at, at some point in life. Despite her short tempers, simplicity, liveliness, and questionable femininity, I knew she had an apparently delicate side to her. Or at least I tried to keep it in mind. I mean, we had known each other a long time and everything. So perhaps all this practicing was a coping mechanism for her, like a ceremony she conducted to quell her raging heart. I took in Kasumi's breathing. She breathed in, then out, inhaling another deep breath. Ooh. The sheer ferocity of her strike was clear and evident to even a complete amateur like me, causing me to tense up all over. Not bad, Kasumi. That was cool. Yeah, kakui yo. I would normally make a quip like that, but Kasumi looked extremely serious as she readjusted for another strike. I would probably be risking my life by teasing her at a moment like this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Seems like she was gonna keep on going, but I found myself getting a little doubtful as I took note of how strained her face looked. Probably because she wanted to protect you, you know? It's all for you, you know? All for your sake. And probably she also learned something else that was you know, something off screen. We, the player doesn't know of yet. No point in training if one was just gonna slack off. That much I agreed with. Taking it seriously was fine and all, but this felt entirely too violent. That technique she just pulled off was indeed amazing. So good that if it was a picture, you want to frame it and hang it up on the wall. But with the title, Killing Blow. In other words, to use a cliche expression, She was frenzied. 
She was swinging her bamboo sword with the intent of killing her imaginary opponent. At least it looked that way to me. Kosumi. Oops. Too serious to hear you, Red. Oh. Kasumi made no answer. I couldn't tell if she was ignoring me or if she was just too absorbed in her practice. I didn't get it. Well, you didn't get it because I think Kasumi, Kasumi knows more things than you do. Yeah, I, I'm willing to bet on that, yes. It was Kasumi herself who once told me that a blade could not only kill a foe, it could also save a life. She explained that Kendo's history of teaching techniques to murder people ended with the westernization movement in the Meiji era. From then on, Kendo was taught not about how to kill, but how to keep others alive. Wasn't Kasumi the ace disciple who, when, while smiling year to year, told me all about how a sword was meant for protecting others? Hell, hearing it even made me embarrassed. So why in the world was she doing now? Well, she's... She's taking it too seriously, all for your sake. She, she's protecting you, Ren. <laughs> well, she's laughing. For a moment, I could have sworn I spotted Kasumi's lips sliding into a sinister grin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Creepy. My heart suddenly sprang up for no reason. Kasumi. Huh? Whoa, 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 did she just break something? A single swing from Kasumi shattered the training dummy to splinters. Damn, girl! <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. She blew, she blew a mounted and armored training dummy from his pedestal clear to the other end of the dojo. There was no technique or skill to the act. It was a blow encompassing all her might, as well as a strike otherwise impossible to pull off with her strength. Holy shit! What the hell was that? Boy. I hurry over to Akasumi. I grabbed her by her shoulders, giving them a quick shake. She made no answer and was clearly spacing out, but after a few moments, light finally returned to her eyes. Don't you even know what you just did, Akasumi? That strike of hers bent the bamboo sword right near the middle. Not even an adult male could have put that off. Yeah, you saw it? Judging from her reaction, she did not seem to be aware of her own actions. Though I hesitated over whether or not to tell her, I couldn't exactly hide it from her either. Kasumi found herself at a loss for words as she raised the ban bamboo sword in her hand up to her eyes. Yeah, I think she also has a hidden power, just like Ren. <laughs> this will be interesting when we get to Kasumi's route. Yeah. Yeah, girl, you did that. Yeah. I didn't answer. <laughs> とりあえず手配せ。こんなの握ってると怪我する。それから片付けは俺がしとくから着替えてこいよ。帰ろうぜ。で、でも。いいな、ファクティスフォーツデーか。カスミ。あ、ニューイワスカインドアンライクミー、
yeah, the the month of the is the like the ghost festival, the month of the ghost festival. Yep, you get what I mean, right? Ghosts and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so no ghost possess. So it's like in the case of Japan custom, ghosts possess a ghost probably possessed her or something like that. But I don't think it's a ghost. I think it has to do with you know, the inner power or something like that. Ultimately, that stupid remark did nothing to clear the oppressive atmosphere within the dojo. Hmm. 